Okay, so we're going to take this corner here. We're going to in-swing. He's moved to keeper a bit, but should get away from it. Van Dijk. Oh, that is beautiful. These corners are just so OP. Hey, guys. Zalonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Corners are OP again. They're maybe not quite as dominant as they were on FC24 because I think Ariel's been ever so slightly nerfed. But they're still crazy. I'm still scoring a corner pretty much at least once every two games. And obviously, that means you have to get the corners. But I'd say I score... Nearly half the corners I get, it feels like. They're really good. Um, very hard to defend. Even if you move your keeper, there's ways around that. Um, corners are really OP. So this video, I'm going to show you some clips, show you some different examples of corners that I do. And um, yeah, show you how to set them up and exactly what you need to do. But first, the reason I'm on the menus is there's a new thing you can do this year. You have team management assignment. This was kind of already in the game last year in terms of picking who takes each one. But now, if I did a new thing where you can actually put who you want where. My priority on my corners who I'm aiming at is the near post. So I'm putting my best player there, Van Dijk, 6'4", aerial. Target player, sometimes it locks onto them instead of um, the near post. So I want my second best player in the air. For me, that's Isak. He's very tall, got very good heading. Um, not is in the stat, but he's got 88 jumping, so he's going to be pretty good in the air. Then the back post, I put my next player. Sometimes it just go to them. Sometimes I might aim at them if they're marking the near post explicitly. So there you go. Van Dyke, Isak, Gomez, that's my setup. Make sure you set it up in the priority of near post, target player, back post. Now let's get into some clips and show you how to actually take these corners and get some easy goals. Okay, so you effectively have two different techniques of scoring if you want to take the corner directly as in actually cross it into the box. You can either do an in-swinger or an out-swinger. I do prefer the in-swingers, but on my team I've got Trent, who's really good at taking corners. The stats you kind of want on a corner taker, uh, free kick accuracy, crossing, and curve. I don't know if... Are you sick to death of getting out-teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Long pass affects it, but maybe. But Trent's really good at corners. He's got whip pass as well. I think that could be useful, dead ball. So I really like those. So you can see here, the corner, if we watch it, it starts there. If I'm taking it as an outswinger, so a right footer from this side or a left footer from the other side, what I do is I move it as far to the, as there as I can, and then I move it inside slightly. So move it as far to as close to the touchline as you can. Move it inside slightly. I don't change the curve. This is how easy they are. I don't even touch the curve on the inside foot curled bit. Some corner techniques people do that they, they might be even more OP, but they're just so hard to do consistently and effectively. Whereas this one that I do works really well. You can see now I've got the indicator above Van Dijk's head. I've pressed L1 to switch to him. This is because I want to be able to move him and lock the corner onto him. So here, we put about three bars of power on. I start moving Van Dijk. He's getting wrestled a bit. I want to move him to this kind of a bit here. It's key that you get goal side in front of the defender if you do you're very likely going to win the header. Cross it in, and there, it's a nice, easy goal. So let's watch that again. It's an outswinger. Move it slightly inside. There's about three bars of power. L1, we've switched to Van Dijk. We're getting goal side, getting in that good position, and then you just head it across goal. It's going to be more consistent with players who have higher heading, who have power header, but once you get into that position, it's very hard for them to defend, and even though they move the keeper slightly, the outswing is a very good way of dealing with that. So that is the outswinger technique. Let's look at the inswinger. Okay, so we are showing the inside um, inswinging corner now. So I've got Trent on it. From this side, obviously, it's going to be an inswinger. You can see that. What I do is I move it just inside of the penalty spot. So penalty spot's there. I move it ever so slightly inside of it. If I was taking it from the other side, it would obviously be with a left foot. It would be ever so inside that way. So... I don't touch the curve again. That's what makes the corner technique I use so simple. You can see again, I've got it just inside. I get switched to Van Dijk. And then I start running. I want to end up around this area here. Once Van Dijk gets there, he's got a running leap. He's goal side. 
it's very, very hard to defend this. Watch that again. So I've got DeMarc on originally. I'll make sure I put my in-swinger on. From here, we get the running head start. It's very hard to defend this. There's some of the ways you can defend it. You can move the keeper to where it is, but people can aim direct at the, um, direct at the goal to score, direct from the corner. It doesn't work consistently. That's why I'm not showing in this video. And, of course, you can switch to your big man and cover the near post out. So if you have a big centre-back, mark it. And it does make it a lot harder for people to score. However, most people just don't defend these properly. So if you can just copy this technique, which I think is very easy to do, you're going to start scoring a lot more corners. Very, very easy goals. Okay, we've got another technique here. This one doesn't involve directly crossing it in from the corner. It's taking it short and whipping it in. This works better if you've got players with whipped pass and good crossing in general. Apparently, this one's quite dominant on old gen in terms of it's better on old gen than it is new gen. But it still works well on new gen. Let's show it in action. I'll just show you me scoring it. So call the defender up, the player short, pass it back, and then whip it in. Very good header, to be fair, by Tonali. But what are the key things here? To take it quickly makes it harder for your opponent to defend. You will press L1 and X. Um, no, sorry, is it R1? I can't remember. It's muscle memory. I do it again. It's either R1 or R1. As soon as you're going to get the corner, I think it might be R1. And the player, yeah, it's R1. You press R1 as soon as you take the corner, but get the corner, and the animation is happening, and that player will already be there. Just take it short. Sometimes people will completely mark it, so you can't do it. And if that happens, you just run in and you just L1 cross it to the back post anyway. But generally, they won't mark it properly. He left it open, so I pass it across, and you whip it in. Ideally, you want someone at this back post area, but for some reason, my formation, it doesn't seem to really ever put someone there. I don't really get why. If you can get someone there and your formation works for that, this is a lot more dominant and a lot harder to play against. Um, you cross it in, and then you win the header. Nice. Tonali there is not even that good at it. This, though, is a pretty consistent way. If you're playing someone who's an absolute menace with the keeper, they've got big men in the box that when you try and um, cross it in directly, they just keep winning them, or they're moving the keeper and you're struggling to actually get across directly from the corner, this is another good technique to use. The other thing you can do with this, you can just dribble it down. You can start looking for cutbacks. You should be able to um, go to the edge of the area and look for long shots. Your team will set up slightly differently to anyone else's. You might have a player on the edge of the box who has really good long shooting that you can go to. You can look for a finesse or a Traveller. You might have someone that you can run down the wing and do cutbacks. There is a lot of ways of scoring with corners. You can get creative with them. I think they're way too OP. I wish they'd been nerfed, but while they're not, I'm here to help you guys out. I want to help you improve at the game. Use them. They're broken. Hopefully this video is going to help you out, help you get a lot more nice, easy goals. Appreciate you all tuning in. If there's any feedback, any comments you want to make, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Keep it spicy. Hope to see you on the next one.